And today we're out here by uh, another one of my compressors and um, this compressor here this is a uh, from Harbor Freight and it was added into my system when I needed um, some more uh, CFM to do some sandblasting so today I want to test it and see if it actually produces what they say it will produce. Now let's take a look at the label here. Uh, model US 660V and it's telling us that it's a 3.5 horsepower 230 volts draws 15 amps I have my doubts about that. 14.55 <laughs> ACFM at 40 PSI, 12.85 ACFM at 90 PSI, 12.38 ACFM at 100, maximum pressure 130 PSI, and the tank is a 60 gallon tank. And now in determining what the actual CFM that this compressor will produce there's a few things we have to know <clears throat> we have to find out what the cut in PSI is and what the cut out PSI is we have to know what the differential is between those two numbers and we also have to know exactly how long it takes to produce that volume of air. Now before we go into the office and do these calculations I want to explain something to you about these ratings. Do you know what the A in ACFM stands for? Most people that go to buy a compressor they see CFM but they don't actually know what that A means. The A stands for actual cubic feet per minute. That is not the CFM that the compressor will produce. It's actually the free air, the volume of free air that will go into the intake of the compressor at zero PSI. And in actuality, when you're talking about a compressor, it's different if you're talking about a blower. But with a compressor, it has, it's a, actually, it's a measurement of mass. Let's take a look at the tag on the motor. It tells us that it's running at 3450 RPM, it's telling us it's a 230 volt motor, continuous use, phase is 1, service factor is 1. But you'll notice on this tag, it doesn't tell us what the horsepower of this motor is. Okay, here's the pressure gauge on the tank itself. And what we're going to do is we're going to bleed off some air. It's below where its turnoff point is. And we'll see what that is. And then we'll see what the cut off pressure is. Okay, now the next thing we need to know 
is how long did that take. So I'm going to bleed the air out again. And using my cell phone, I'm going to time it. That took, I'll round it out, it took uh, 51 and a half seconds, actually 51.38 seconds. Now with that information of what the pressure differential is and how long it took and the tank volume, we can now go back into the office and calculate exactly what the CFM of this is. All right, so this is what we know. We know the tank size is 60 gallons. We know the compressor turns off at 148 PSI. And we know the compressor turns on at 121 PSI. Also, the constant 1 gallon equals 0.13368 cubic feet, and 1 atmosphere equals 14.7 PSI. All right, now we convert the 60 gallon tank to cubic feet by multiplying the 60 gallons by 0.13368. It gives us 8.0208 cubic feet. We know the compressor goes off at 128 and comes on at 121, so the differential is 27 psi. And the time cycle is 51.38 seconds. All right, now we convert the 27 PSI to atmospheres by dividing by 14.7, which gives us 1.8367 atmospheres that we added to the tank. And we did that in 51.38 seconds. When we multiply the atmospheres times the cubic feet, we come out with 14.732 cubic feet added in 51. 3.8 seconds. Now next what we do is a simple proportion to find out how many cubic feet we've added in 60 seconds. Alright, finally what we have to do is a proportion to figure out per minute so it's 14.732 times 60 divided by 51.38 and that gives us 17.054 CFM at 120 PSI. Now why is it 120 PSI? That's because the compressor is going on at 121 PSI and as we add more air to the tank at that pressure Slowly but surely, we're actually putting less air in as the pressure increases. So, well, there's a certain amount of error in here, and we're not going to get into all those calculations. But suffice it to say, we're close enough that at 120 PSI, we're putting in 17.054 CFM. I'm astonished. I can't believe it. <laughs> the label rating at 12.35 ACFM at 100 and we're at 17.054 at 120 which is 30 percent higher than what the label rating is. I suspected I would find it considerably lower. Well I've gone over the calculations and I can't find any errors. Maybe you can. I hope this is clear enough to you and you can try it out. Hope I didn't confuse you. Okay, see you next time.